So this is a uh, pre-production um, version of the Kickstarter Geiger counter. So this is ma been made with uh, 3D printed plastics and a hand assembled PCB. Um, but it's a it's a reasonable approximation of what will ship. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to go through the uh, the UI briefly so you get an idea of, of how that will work. So when you turn the unit on, you will get uh, CPM and CFERTS readings on the main screen. And you'll see this header at the top of the screen, which, which kind of stays there all the time when you navigate the menu structure. And you get the, uh, the CPM again there, the current time, and the battery life. So if we back out into the main menu, um, you can see there, there are a few options you can use. Most of the time you'll just want to stay in the current reading screen and that will tell you your current reading. But you can go into the advanced options and you can see a graph of all of the data that's been acquired over the last couple of minutes, which um, I found quite handy, say, if you're testing it with a source, you can see it spike. Uh, there's an average accumulate mode, which is a kind of a, a way of taking a long-term reading. Um, and you can get a long-term average of the of the CPM in your, um, you know, in your house or whatever. There's also this QR tweet mode, which is kind of cool. So it displays a QR code, um, and you can point your phone at that, and it'll direct you to Twitter, so you can tweet your current um, current reading. And there's a QR transfer mode, which transfers the um, log, which is stored in the device's memory. So it's taking readings every 30 minutes and writing them to the flash, and you can transfer that with the accompanying software, um, and that'll get sent off to Safecast. Um, in the settings screens, we have a whole pile of options. We can enable the beeping on the guide counter. We can set the brightness on the display if you want to conserve battery life. We also have uh, Japanese translations of all the menus, which have been uh, let's turn off that beeping. It's been like, uh, which have been contributed by my girlfriend very kindly. Um, and in the Geiger menu, um, there are a whole pile of options. We have this CPM CPS auto, so you can automatically get the Geiger counter to switch between CPM and CPS on the on the current readings display. You can enable um, like a warning level so it'll it'll start beeping, uh, wake up from sleep and start beeping when uh, it registers a CPM value um, above a, a particular level. You can configure the um, logging interview interval down to um, uh, one minute intervals is set by at 30 minutes by default. Uh, what else can we do? Um, yeah, I think that's probably about it. There's a bunch of other things like setting the time and date, which you know is obviously useful for for logging. We're hoping that we'll be able to set those at the factory as well, so they will all come with a valid UTC time programmed into them. Uh, yeah, so that's it. It's a basic. Uh, introduction to the Kickstarter Geiger counter.